Uh, this is my version of leg extensions. Um, traditionally, we do leg extensions two legs at a time, but that's probably the only time that you utilize that movement is in the gym. So I like to do my leg extensions the way that I walk, which is one leg after the other. Um, I find that it allows me to get a better contraction on each leg separately. Um, one leg is not being stronger than the other, so that I get equal development. And I also get to use my left brain and right brain simultaneously while I'm working out. Like I spoke about earlier, most of the time when you exercise and your muscles start to fatigue, your form gets worse. By utilizing the unilateral method or sequence, your form actually gets better the, tired, the more tired you get or you can't physically perform it. So that's another reason why I like to do that. Um, it's because my form actually improves because my mind-muscle connection is greater in order for me to accomplish the, the continue accomplishing reps successfully. Um, this is gonna be unilateral leg curls using the same philosophy as the leg extension. We're gonna do a left leg, right leg in sequence, um, same way we swim. Um, I think it, it does two things. Number one, like I said, better mind muscle connection, but it also prevents your butt from rising up off the bench which is most people's problem when they do leg curls. They're not using proper form, so this is the proper technique. Notice I was able to keep my pelvic in contact with the bench, and that's allowed keeping my butt from rising up off the bench and keeping all the tension on my hamstrings. That's hamstring curls. <laughs> 